Good morning. It's Raglan, a next generation landscaping. Uh, we got, you know, uh, a task on our hands today. Um, we do my neighbors, uh, well, not my neighbors, but uh, we do a customer. Her neighbor, you know, needs to get, you know, her yard done. She's real elderly, but she's not able to uh, get out here and do it. And, you know, funds are minimized or however it may be. But um, this is, you know, my neighbor's property. We did a episode called um, prep time where we prep the beds and stuff like that uh, for the customer. Let me show you. So look at, you know, prep time. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check out that video. Um, but uh, I told, you know, my neighbor and I knocked on the door and I told them that uh, I'll just come over and do a quick, you know, uh, cut edge trim just to neaten it up for and then I will try to get in contact with uh, uh, her daughters or her son or something like that to try to uh, get it on a, you know, routine schedule. But it's really an asshole and it's really bad and she's you know generally you know a nice person or however it may be so you know this is a uh, pro bono work that we're doing right here and uh without further let me, let me show you what i'm talking about so this is the backyard right here uh we just gonna come cut it uh get those weeds down over there uh the ivy and stuff we're not gonna mess with that uh just cut it edge it up you know get her walkway together and uh come on around and get all of this you know uh together so she can uh 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 walk through or happen maybe uh we're just gonna take the weed whack and just weed whack this stuff down uh to get it you know nice and presentable for them uh for her or have it maybe uh, this is the front yard and the bed work yeah so um this is you know just the pro bono work that we're doing and this is the other yard for prep time that we did you know but we're gonna tackle this one we're gonna tackle it uh get it straight from them and then um not looking anything from it just uh you know just nice pro bono work i'm right here uh she's elderly so, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we have to do those type of things just to, you know, uh, uh, help out the elderly or have it maybe. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get to the video. This will be an action footage. Oh, um, uh, this will be a headshot, you know, uh, video, um, but not, you know, because I try to get in and out, you know, quick as possible. You know, I don't, you know, by me having, you know, a certain amount of properties I need to do a day, you know, I do the headshots because, you know, trying to set up the camera, look at the camera, you know, put, stop what I'm doing and go look at the camera and this or not, I have maybe takes a lot of time out the day to try to do that. So I do a lot of headshots, you know, just for that purposes alone. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be back to you in a minute. You know, once I... <laughs> Welcome to Landscape Like a Pro, Pro, Pro Bono. This is Raglan Powell Jr., a next generation landscaping. Uh, before we get into it, do me a favor. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback in my opinion. Help out the channel a little bit. Um, well, without further ado, uh, this, this customer, let me elaborate. Because I know it probably could have been a little confusing about... Um, what was going on with this with this customer uh we do the customer next door and um they were complaining about you know the yard being you know a hot mess as you can see and um you know every time you know we come there to you know service the property next door um that you know she's an elderly lady um that lives in this house and uh, you know we'll you know ge have general conversations. You know I just you know we'll sit there we'll talk and you know just talk about you know things in general. You know before uh, we leave from doing you know the neighbor's property or however it may be. So she's genuinely you know a nice lady, but you know she's you know up in her seventies. So you know we, we, 
you only can do for so much when you know when you when you get at, at that age. So um, the neighbor was like, you know, um, did I mind you know cutting it? She would, you know she would pay for it or having me be. But I was just like, you know, she's she's nice. I'll just you know talk to her, you know her daughter and her, and her son to see if they want to go on a regular. But I'll just go ahead and just cut it uh, 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 right now, you know, just to get her to look presentable, you know, for the weekend. And, um, we'll figure it out. You know, um, I said, you know, I couldn't do it, you know, free every time, but, uh, I would, you know, do it free this time, you know, you know, cause, you know, to help her out a little bit, but, um, <laughs> to make a long story short, um, I talked to the, you know, the daughter, I talked to the son, and they not know they got pretty pissed at me <laughs> for cutting the yard. And I was like, for real, I was like, you know, you know, it's your mother, she was up in age, and you know, she's, you know, a nice lady, so I just, you know, I'm not charging you, I'm just, you know, doing it just, you know, uh, uh, sort of look, you know, presentable for her because, you know, it was kind of an eyesore, you know, for the neighbors or have it maybe. But I'm not charging. I'm just, you know, you know, touching bases with you just to see, you know, if you want to go on a regular basis, you know, this is how much it'll cost. And uh, this is what we can do. We can come every two weeks and uh, we can, you know, uh, uh, get it, you know, on an even keel. They got mad and was like, nobody told you to cut it. You shouldn't have cut it. And this and that or have it may be. Uh, we'll get to it when we feel like it. What? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, well, so so uh, leave a comment below, please. And let me know, was I wrong for cutting it? Or should I just have let the ladies' yard be a hot mess? I just thought I was just doing a good deed, you know. And... To be frank and to be honest, you know, I still think it was a good deed um, to go ahead and, and, and cut the yard, you know, uh, so she, you know, would be, you know, looking good for the weekend. And, and so she can actually, you know, come on her porch and actually see the street because <laughs> literally, you know, if you look at that right now, it was just a, it was just a hot mess. And you know, by her being elderly, you know, you got to do certain things, you know, for them, you know, but leave a comment and let me know, was I wrong or, 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 or should I have just let it be or should I, you know, just, you know, went ahead and cut it like I did. Um, my opinion, I, I just went ahead and did it and I would do it again. So if they got mad again, then, you know, so be it, you know, but you know, I, you know, took time out, you know, my day to go ahead, cut this yard, you know, trim this yard, clean this yard up, just so she would be able to, you know, see, you know, just be able to sit on her patio. But when you go in this backyard right now, you're going to see that, you know, it, it just wasn't kept. But if you look at the neighbor's yard that we do next door, uh, uh, we, you know, pretty much kept that up, you know, and, and, and had it looking good for her. But this one, you know, you can't see the walkway, you know, the ivy is, you know, growing wild, you know, the beds are, you know, a hot mess and this, and I, and the third, but, you know, by you being, and I told them, I said, well, you know, she's, you know, up in age, so she's going to need some help, you know, when we get to it when we feel like it, what? We'll get to it when we feel like it, but your 70-year-old mother is literally trapped in her house and she can't, you know, really enjoy her space because it's trash and everything. I even, you know, offered the volunteer to, you know, you know, all that trash that's up on the patio there uh uh like the old lawnmower and all that debris and stuff i offered you know to go ahead and haul it away you know i said you know i can haul that stuff away and um so you know her patio will be nice and clear and this and that no we'll get to it when we feel like it and nobody told you to come cut the grass okay well maybe i'm cut from a different cloth you know um 
one thing my mother and my pops always instilled in me, if you could do a good deed, do a good deed. Don't give a damn what people say. Don't give a damn what people think. If you feel it in your heart to go ahead and do it, hell, go ahead and do it. You know, and you know, as long as your conscience is free and clear, you don't have nothing to worry about. You know, but you know, I just didn't understand you know, where they were coming from with this. Now, maybe it's a backdrop that I don't I don't know about. Maybe it's a, you know, a backdrop that doesn't need to be said or have it may be, but generally when, you know, I'm speaking to the lady that lives in this house, the 70 year old, I'm not gonna say her name, just of purposes. You know, I was trying to get her on the video, but she was like, no, 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 it can't be on the video. You know, the police gonna be watching. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she said, "No, no, no, no! I can't do it. The police gonna be watching." And I thought about it. I was like, "Well, uh, you got a point there." <laughs> but um, um, she was like, "I don't, I don't want my picture all over that, that internet and this and that." And that, and that, and that. I said, "Okay, I, I, I totally understand. I get it." You know, just for, you know, privacy purposes, I won't say her name and, you know, we didn't show her face or however it may be. But uh, I tried to, but she was like, no, she, was, she wasn't going for it. But, um, but anytime, you know, I come over, you know, and she's generally, you know, a nice, you know, sweet lady and she offers, you know, she offers us, you know, water, you know, she's like, you know, I remember one time she was like, hey, I can you know, fix y'all, you know, a lunch or something. Yeah, y'all want a sandwich or something? I know y'all, you know, da, 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 da. But, uh, and we don't even do her yard, you know what I mean? And it was a couple times where the daughter would be there and me and her be talking. And then, you know, uh, you know, the daughter and us, we'll get to talking and this and that, laughing and joking and stuff before we leave to go to the next property or however it may be. But this particular time, just because we did it, she just went off and left field somewhere. But, you know, me personally, I would do it again. And I wouldn't care if if if, if she got mad. Um, I wouldn't care if the, you know, the elderly lady would, wants to be like, hey, uh, can you cut my grass? You know, I got a couple of dollars, da, 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 da. I don't, you know, I don't have no problem with that, you know. It, I mean, you know, not to say, you know, I could do it every time, but, you know, if I, you know, got a light day or something like that, or, you know, I, I don't, I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind helping out, but it's just to the point of, I just didn't understand, you know, why they would get upset just because, you know, I went ahead and just took care of the yard for him, you know, and uh, I asked, you know, the the son, and I was like, okay, did I do something wrong, or she just snapped, and this and that, da, 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 da. and he was just like, you know, he just to the point where he was just like, you know what, I don't care, you know, I didn't have to cut it, so I'm appreciative that you did it, and this and that, have me be, but she just went off and, you know, left field somewhere and, and was like, you know, you shouldn't have done it. We'll get to it when we feel like it. And da, 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 da. So I asked the, you know, the son, I was like, well, you know, we can come and we can, you know, we can just do it. You know, it's not, it's not a problem. And, you know, this will be the price if you just want, you know, us to do it and I can just bill you. That way, you know, your mother, you know, Lana be looking nice, or however it may be. Oh, with them crisp edges. You see them crisp edges right there? Look at them. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. But, uh, and I just gave that crisp edge away for free to get yelled at. <laughs> but it's all good, though. It's all good. It's, 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 uh, you know, I, I feel good about it, you know. And he was like, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, he said, as of right now, I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and do it. But, you know, I'm going to uh, talk to my sister because I don't want, you know, she said, he said she can be a little high head at times. 
when people, you know, doing stuff, you know, and this and that, or have may be here. But I'm like, look at it. Look, 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 yeah, we's growing up on the side of the house, you know, and in the back, she can't get out her back gate. It's like she's trapped in her in her in her in her house. And you know, for a seventy year old, you know, when you got to get out and go to the doctor, or you just want to sit on your porch, and you just want to, you know, just you know get a peace of mind or something like that. You don't want to look at tall weeds. You don't want to look at tall grass. Hell, you know, me, you know, being the age I am, I don't want to look at it. So, you know, by her being 77 years old, I know daggone well she don't want to look at it. You know, but, you know, leave a comment below. Was I wrong for doing it? Would you have just left it alone? Would you had not done it for? Would you had done it for? Um, I, I like a, you know, a different, you know, perspective on it, but to be honest, you know, I, you know, like I told the daughter, I, I really don't, I, re, I it, re, it really doesn't matter if, you know, you're, you're, you're mad at me. It really doesn't matter if, you know, uh, you're upset that, you know, I went ahead and did it and this and that or however it may be, but hey. It is what it is. You know, we did a good deed. Um, she's genuinely a, a, a nice lady. And uh, and I wish that she look all that trash right there. See, I offered to haul that stuff away, but she was like, no. You know, don't nobody do nothing for free no more out here these days. And why are you doing it? What, what's your plan? What's your mo No, it's no plan. It's no motive. I just ask you, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And... If, you know, you don't want us to do the services, that's fine. But don't get mad at me because I offered to, you know, give your mother a helping hand or give you all a helping hand. I don't, I don't mind, you know, um, but I'm not going to, you know, sit here and argue about, you know, doing your mother's, you know, property. It's, I have, you know, other clients I can, I can get to. I mean, that's not. That's not the issue, but I just know that, you know, this needs to be, you know, uh, rectified because uh, your neighbor, you know, is complaining about, you know, how tall the grass is. And actually, you know, the neighbors on both sides of the house, you know, be complaining about, you know, how tall the grass is and nobody's keeping it up. And, you know, they feeling sorry for the lady because she's, you know, elderly and she can't get around and she's trying to you know, get out there and, 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 and try to pull weeds and do this and do that. And, and I saw her, you know, a couple of times uh, uh, trying to get out there with her walker and, and trying to bend over and pull weeds up. Like if we pull up, she'll be out in the yard trying to pull the stuff up. So, it, it, you know, and I'm like, wait a minute, what are you doing? You know, you can't, you know, be doing that and this and that or however it may be. But she was like, no, but I got to do it. You know, I just, you know, can't afford, you know, da, 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 da. You know, so I, I don't know. You know, it seems like, you know, people, you know, get a little leery or weary about people doing stuff for free, you know. And, you know, people get a little leery about, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just to the point of of um if i can help out i'm gonna help out if you get mad at me you get mad at me i i really don't care it's not like we did like a total mulch job and and, and did some planting and took some bushes out and hauled some did like a whole extreme makeover or something we i mean we just literally you know cleared you know this walkway just so you know, she could, you know, get out her back door if she needed, you know, the back gate if she needed to um, without having to trip over weeds and stuff like that, you know. And, you know, we didn't, you know, really, you know, get into full detail. I mean, we just literally just, you know, just cut the stuff down and just to make it look neat for her, you know. But I just really didn't know what the issue was you know and i told the lady i said you know i didn't have to do it you know I, I i i you know the way you know this gas thing is now you know i took time out just to go ahead and do it 
when I could have been getting to another property, but you're getting upset with me just because I did it. I'm not asking you for anything. I'm just doing this out the kindness of my heart, you know, just to try to help her. But I said, if there's, you know, something I did, nobody does anything for free anymore. So why are you doing this for free? You got some type of plan up under your sleeve. And no, it's not no type of plan sleeve or anything. It's just, you know, the neighbors were complaining about it. I talked to, you know, your mother and I talked to you, you know, sometimes when we come over, you know, your mother always offering us, you know, water and, and asking us to, you know, fix a little lunch and this and that or have it may be. But, and I just went ahead and did it. Nobody's doing it. So, you know, I don't, I don't understand what the, what the problem is, you know, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, I, you know, I understand in these days, you know, the way things is going, you know, I guess with COVID and I guess with, you know, a lot of stuff that's going on these days, it, it can be a little frustrating, you know, for, you know, what's going on and, and this and that the third or however it may be. But, you know, hell, you know, I'm going to do what I can. You know, to help you get mad, you get mad. You don't, you don't, you know. But, yeah, what would your guys be, you know, do if, you know, you was in that predicament? Would you, you know, just let it be? Or would you have just, you know, went ahead and done it pro bono and just you not charged? Would you have done it and then tried to charge? Or what, you know what I mean? I would love the feedback because I, you know, um, would know how to, you know, better gauge but i think i would have done it again you know for a, another elderly person but i'm always good you know for some for some good feedback okay you know um yeah so that that's about it for this one i just did it you know at the kindness of my heart just to make sure she's uh you know good to go oh and um I do not recommend this to anybody. Um, we whacking these weeds uh, with rocks. Uh, them rock, you can see the rocks are kicking up. Uh, and you got a window right here on the left. You got a window right there on the right. So, you know, I don't recommend anybody doing, see, you know, you saw that rock shoot over there, you know, but I don't recommend anybody doing this because uh, you could really bust a window out. You know, this is not, you know, an ideal thing to do, you know, because you can bust a window out and we're not in the, you know, in the business, you know, to be replacing anything if it don't need to be replaced. All right. But uh, this was just a pro bono and I would love your guys feedback on, you know, what you would have done in this situation um, for this elderly woman. And once we finished, she was she was you know, happy. And she was, you know, so grateful that we did it. You know, I just wish I could have got her on tape, but she, yeah, she from the old school. She ain't going for it. <laughs> she from the old school. She ain't, she ain't going for it, you know? And, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, leave a comment below and, um, I hope you, you know, enjoy the rest of this video. Look forward to hearing your comments on, you know, what you would have done in this situation. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm always down to help everybody. All right. So this is, uh, do me a favor. You know, if you like the video, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments. Uh, if you hadn't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. If you already subscribed to the channel, thank you. And thank you for watching the video again. All right. So this is Ragnar coming from Next Generation Landscape. Keep persevering by any means necessary. And until the next time, see you.
Hello, so we're all done. This is the after effect. Just to remind you, this was just a cut, just to get it, you know, looking presentable uh, for the neighbors. And, you know, just so, you know, she would, you know, be free and clear and didn't of getting any type of violations or anything like that. Yeah, so. Yeah. So this is the end result. And then hopefully, you know, we can uh, get in touch with the uh, uh, daughters or sons and get on a regular basis. So she will be, you know, free and clear. All right. So I hope this was useful for you. It's nothing wrong with doing a little pro bono work to help out the elderly. You know, it'll come back to you. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, may not be next year or two years from now, but it'll come back to you. All right, this is Raglan coming from Next Generation Landscaping. Keep persevering by any means necessary. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to get that big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback. All right, until the next time, see you.